Our satellite and radar combined shows a few puffy cumulus clouds out there, especially across western North Carolina, but even across the northern parts of the upstate, that allowing for a very nice day. As I turn on live Super Doppler 4 HD and we scan our area, not picking up on any appreciable showers. Can't rule out an area of drizzle or light rain across the mountains, but for the most part, we're going to stay dry today. It's 68 right now in Pickens. Good afternoon in Anderson at 70, 69 in Greenville and 68 degrees in Spartanburg. Just this time yesterday, we were in the 40s. So we're making progress day by day, but still cooler than we should be for this time of the year. You'll notice a chill in the air tonight and then tomorrow morning as you step out the door. We're cooling on down to the upper 40s in many locations, mid 40s across Spartanburg County. As we look in closer, some patchy frost was found in town to town between Inman and Lyman this morning. You'll be a good bit warmer, but still chilly. 46 in Roebuck, 45 in downtown, 45 for Packlet. Now as we look ahead toward your Friday, we'll have a mix of sun and clouds. It's going to be a nice day and temperatures just a bit warmer than we had today, a bit closer to 70 degrees in many locations tomorrow. As we head over toward Anderson, we'll see temperatures start off in the 50s, warming up to 69 degrees. In Asheville, we'll see a shower possible. That chance mainly for the higher elevations and it's going to be very hit or miss. Many areas will stay dry tomorrow. And you'll top out at 60 degrees. A fast moving upper level system, keeping things a little bit cooler in the mountains. All those showers won't make it down to the upstate. We'll top out at 71 in Greenville, 72 in Anderson, and only 61 in Asheville. So a good bit different across the mountains compared to the upstate tomorrow. One of those days where it's quite a bit different. That downslope wind helping warm things up for the upstate compared to the mountains. And there's those showers that'll be confined basically to the I-40 corridor north. A slight chance of a shower tomorrow evening. Then we'll dry things back up as we go into our Saturday. More beautiful sunshine on the way as high pressure is right on top of us. By Sunday, we'll start to get more of a southerly wind. That's going to warm us up. So Sunday will be warmer than Saturday and each day you'll kind of notice it getting warmer during the afternoon hours. Cool mornings, warmer afternoons. That's going to be the theme. But as we get into Monday and early next week, that suddenly wind really starts to ramp up and that's going to bring in the humidity and a better chance for those afternoon thunderstorms starting on Tuesday. So the four day looks like this 70 degrees tomorrow, 74 on Saturday and then 76 on Sunday. So building day by day until Monday when we're right back to where we should be this time of the year. And notice our normal high is now 80 degrees. So yeah, it should be warm this time of the year. And then by Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday of next week, we'll introduce afternoon thunderstorm chances. Nothing out of the ordinary here or widespread, but enough to kind of keep you on your toes during the afternoon hours. In the mountains, we'll see an isolated shower tomorrow, 65. Dry by the weekend, getting closer to 70. That heat and humidity builds for the mountains as well with afternoon thunderstorms starting Tuesday. <laughs>